Okay, so here we're going to be doing some upgrades here on the Ender 2. So get close to it, I have to zoom in. Uh, we've got some CV1 Oculus Rift virtual reality clips here on the bed right now that we just got finished printing a little while ago. Looking pretty good. What we're going to do right now is we're actually going to print an upgrade for the Z-axis over here because as you can see the Z-axis just goes right up in the air and is uh, completely free. So it's got nothing holding it in the right spot. So we're going to print a piece for that and that is going to hold it a little better. Uh, there are also some pieces that you can add on to go right here to hold this piece, but what I've noticed is it actually stays pretty good. <laughs> um, uh, regardless, that's one I might end up getting later. There's also a cable chain that people have been printing that just attaches right back here and that goes up the back, you know, right there. So that's something I might end up getting it as well at some point. But for now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be upgrading this fan here because I know upgrading the fan is generally one of the, the only upgrades that you really notice significantly on the actual prints themselves. So what I've done here is I've already printed this piece that you can see. So let me go ahead and get it in focus there. Um, and this fan right here, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the quality of it. It was printed on the Ender 2 here and the quality of it is just pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I was really happy with how it turned out and what you'll notice here on the back is that not only does the fan cool off the nozzle which is what it's supposed to do with this window right here but it's also got the piece right down there on the bottom where it's going to cool off the part so rather than just having the fan on there kind of as it is where the part gets nothing because you'll see if I go down low here you'll see how the actual nozzle doesn't have any air blowing on it so what's going to happen now is this fan is going to be blowing on the you know the inside nozzle to keep it cool for the plastic as well as below to make sure the actual part is going to look a little better too so we're going to go ahead and like i said add this guy on and at the same time print a piece to go in for this z-axis over here let's get started Also, I wanted to mention this little 3D Wi-Fi device right here. This uh, G-Tech device is very small. You can just plug it directly into the printer. So I wanted to test this guy out as well and see if we cannot connect it to the Ender 2. We're gonna go ahead and try that right now. Okay, now that this piece is finally done printing, we've got this little uh, this little bearing here, which whew, I'll have a link in the description for this kind as well, but this is just gonna slip right in there, and then this piece is going to attach right over on here to help keep that guy straightened out. Oops, and let's get it on right now. Okay, now that we've got the add-ons put there like we uh, wanted to do, we've got the, the Z stabilizer put down, and of course we've got the fan added on to the nozzle, and uh, I think that placement's going to be a little better there, looks pretty cool. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we've got this 3D Wi-Fi module, and we've plugged it in here on the back. Uh, through uh, a USB to the actual printer itself and also it's got another port that goes to a power plug right here so we're gonna go ahead and take this guy and power it on right now.
Okay, so there you have it, a quick update here on the Ender 2 3D printer. I really think this is a fantastic printer for the size, for the quality. I mean, really, I've had a few people ask me, is the CR10, you know, comparable to this, uh, other than obviously print size and the amount of money that it costs? And I would say yes. The quality that comes out of this printer is fantastic. Uh, not only the pieces that you've been able to see that have come, the layer lines look really, really crisp but it's just, uh, it's really, really easy to get going right out of the package and for a very great price, uh, under $200. So one other thing I also want to mention is that uh, not only did I print out the piece back here to hold the Z-Rod, I printed out the fan cover right here. There's also another piece that you're probably going to want, especially if you buy this printer brand new, and there is a spacer that you can print that's going to be right here for the back of the motor on the Z-axis, and that spacer really helps out a lot. So I'm going to make sure to put that in the description as well. Um, this G-Tech, uh, if you're having any trouble getting the G-Tech Wi-Fi module to work, uh, it's probably because you need to make sure to follow the instructions. You have to actually connect it to your phone and then connect your phone to the Wi-Fi module directly and from there you can tell the Wi-Fi module what your internet is and what your internet password is and then it can connect to your internet itself. So there's a little bit of a process there, but once you get it set up, it's actually fairly simple to do. I will be, uh, I will be making another video uh, completely on exactly how to do that GTEC by itself. So if you guys have any more questions, I'll try to answer them right there. Anyways, that's the end of this upgrade right here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Lots of updates to come. See you in the next one. Bye!